It usually requires multiple takes to capture the perfect performance. MIDI playlists in Pro Tools enable you to record multiple MIDI takes and then effortlessly compare and edit them into a single performance, or to try out different versions of a MIDI or instrument track. To create a new playlist in a MIDI or instrument track, click the playlist selector to the right of the track header and choose New. You can now record a new take into the empty playlist, or try out different ideas. Tracks with multiple playlists are indicated in blue. You can switch between the playlists from the selector. You can also use Shift and the up and down cursor keys to move between playlists. Another way to capture multiple takes to playlists is to use loop recording. In the playlist selector, enable the new playlists on loop recording option. Now, if you're in loop record, you can quickly perform several takes while Pro Tools cycles the playback range. Each take will be saved to a new playlist. Tracks have a dedicated playlist view, which shows all the tracks playlists at once as multiple lanes. You can move clips directly between the playlists, and if you drop a clip on this narrow lane at the bottom of the list, the clip will be placed on a new playlist. The lane at the top is the track's main playlist, and is what you hear by default. It's also the lane that you record into. You can change the main playlist from the playlist selector, which will reorder the lanes. You can audition any playlist by clicking on its speaker icon. The audition button can also be found in the tracks list. You can also show and hide individual playlists here. A common workflow is to compile the best parts of several takes into a single performance. In Playlist View, you can audition takes, then copy the parts you like to a single comp playlist using the Copy Selection to Target Playlist button. By default, the main playlist is the target, but you can choose any other playlist to copy to with the target buttons. If you have automation lanes open for an instrument track in Playlist View, these will show the MIDI controller automation belonging to whichever playlist has a selection or the main playlist if there's no selection. When there's a playlist in audition mode with no selection, you'll see MIDI automation for both the main playlist and the audition playlist, with the audition playlist data shown in the background and colored green. This provides context for what you're editing versus what you're hearing. When you use the copy to target button, all MIDI controller automation within the selection overwrites the target along with the notes. Note that while instrument track playlists have independent automation lanes for MIDI control data, all playlists share the same automation lanes for mixer and plugin parameters. These parameters are listed below the dividing line in the lane selector. When an instrument or MIDI track is in playlists view, you can view and edit multiple playlists in the MIDI editor, just like regular tracks. In the MIDI editor's track list, playlists have an audition button, as well as show hide and edit target selectors. When viewing automation lanes in the MIDI editor, MIDI controller data will be shown as separate sub lanes for each playlist, the same as when viewing multiple tracks in the editor. MIDI playlists give you a fast and effective way to deliver the perfect performance.